Welcome to TradeTheNBA.com. This is John. This report is for the 18th. Well, we continue the steady push, a um, little back and forth still, but uh, that gold is still doing its job. Uh, it's just having trouble, and the longer it has trouble, the worse it gets. As we can see, we're starting with uh, cyan rejection of green, um, but we still have positive magenta as well as yellow above the 33 and everything's still rising short increase just a little bit so some people are starting to get a little antsy and that could be the driver needed to uh, push the market uh, just take something positive nasdaq is already very close to it and looking considerably uh, stronger from a short-term buyers on the doc here with the steel but still no crossover of green over red so it's just like the market is just in holding pattern stall waiting for a catalyst and you can see the market has realized the fed has not changed their mind and all that money that flowed into bonds and got lower yields uh, suffering from it so not great for bond carriers but they've been back and forth on this issue and it just seems like they've ignored the fed and I mean, it's pretty obvious you don't want to fight the fed they're telling you in advance what they're going to do uh, there's no real surprise there the market's trying to pre-game them uh, from a oil standpoint still above 80 that's problematic at least from a uh, reducing of inflation and cost things uh, it's not helping there gold pulling back down towards the um, 76 percent a little bit of softness right there and again everyone's waiting to see if there's an acceleration or move in oil in that which would drive uh, those further euro pulled back just a little bit filling back in the positive extreme i think special there and bitcoin in them again i think that uh, eth is outperformed slightly and that's just been catch-up mode so uh, you're going to continue to see that uh, from a lot of these uh, crypto space uh, in the sense that, uh, you know, the belief that the dollar has problems and of course, uh, trade station back and forth with the markers. But again, we're just waiting for uh, literally some kind of impetus intraday, though the action is still pretty decent uh, as far as some of the swings go. So we'll just keep playing with that until uh, uh, we get a significant change when you have these conflicting readings literally you just get muck and uh, that's where it's also good to point out that you really want to see that alignment i mean when you get the solid p2s and everything's looking in the right direction those are your most high probability and effective trades and so just stick with that and follow that intraday and we'll see a turn uh, early on in the 50 and 5k charts on the uh, Yes, and whether it looks like the NASDAQ would most likely be the leader on this anyway, so follow there. As always, though, trade well. We'll talk to you later.